Hey guys, it's Chris here with a quick tutorial on how to use image occlusion add-on for Anki. This is a very powerful add-on and it helped me a ton when I was taking anatomy so I just wanted to share with you guys some helpful tips and tricks to basically learn the ins and outs of any image that you want to learn. What I would normally do is just take a, a screenshot of a Netter's Atlas PDF that I had on my computer and I would block out all the labels that I needed to know and I would just study them using this Anki add-on and uh, it really proved successful for me so I'm hoping that it'll help some of you guys. So to get started we're going to go ahead and download it so just open up a browser window and type in Anki image occlusion okay and then we're going to go to Anki web and what you want to do is copy this code so I'm going to copy that to my clipboard right there and open up Anki so it should open up then you go to tools add-ons browse and install and then just paste that code in there click OK um, it'll download it and then it'll ask you to restart I already have it so I'm not gonna bother doing that so I'm just gonna cancel okay so now we have the add-on installed what you're gonna do is um, just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna create a new deck just to show you guys around so I'm just gonna call it heart so we have our heart deck now I'm gonna just gonna Google heart anatomy to get a picture alright so this one looks great uh, lots of labels very clean looking so I'm just gonna save this and we'll just put it on the desktop for now okay so I got my image so I go back to Anki I click add and now that I have image occlusion installed, this little picture button pops up. Okay, so I click that, and it's going to ask me to select a picture. So I select my heart anatomy picture from my desktop, and I'll open up. So this is what the image occlusion editor looks like. So you can see that our image is too large for this canvas so what we're gonna do is click this little magnifying menu down here and select fit to canvas okay that looks better but might be easier if we had a bigger window so we'll make it larger and then click fit to canvas again and that looks great so just to give you guys a quick tour you have header footer tags um, tags work as they normally do in any other deck header and footer are what is going to appear above or below your image. So for my header, I'm just going to say name the part of the part. Okay. So this is what your edit screen looks like. The main tools that you're going to be using to study anatomy with this add on are the pointer tool, um, the rectangle tool. You can do all different kinds of shapes as well. I'll mention that later. And then these two buttons down here. So this is to add non overlapping occlusions, and then this is to add notes with overlapping occlusion so I'm gonna show you guys some examples so what you want to do to start blocking out the labels in this image is to select the rectangle tool and then click and drag so we're gonna block out the superior vena cava label and then if we want to do the same for the pulmonary artery the right pulmonary artery we'll just block that out okay so now we have two labels that are blocked so just for this tutorial I'm only gonna block two of them but again you can make many many cards out of this image just because there are so many labels so what I'm gonna do next is click add notes with non overlapping occlusions so what this is gonna do is when it asks me about the superior vena cava I'm not gonna be able to see what is behind this label for the right pulmonary artery okay and that's because these are non overlapping if I click add notes with overlapping occlusions when it's asking me about the superior vena cava this label is going to be blocked however the label for the right pulmonary artery will be showing okay so in essence um, if you do notes with overlapping occlusions it's going to give you more information and I prefer to do non overlapping occlusions just because it makes it harder and I think it tests you better But I'm going to show you what both look like okay so I'm going to click add notes with non overlapping occlusions and you can see down there it just said um, two notes were added and then I'm going to do the same, but now I'm going to do it with overlapping occlusions. Okay, and again, two notes were added because I have two labels blocked off. So let's go ahead and see what those cards look like. Uh, we're going to exit out of this window, and then we're going to close this. And see, I have four cards total in my heart deck that I made. So I'm going to click Study Now and show you what they look like. 
Okay, so this is my header, like I said, name the part of the heart. And now it's asking me what this part of the heart is. So we know that's the superior vena cava. Okay, so we'll click show answer. And we're just going to say easy just for the sake of the tutorial. But I want you guys to notice that this is an example of non-overlapping occlusion because I can't see the label for the right pulmonary artery here. It's still blocked off. Okay, so let's go to the next card. Now it's asking me about the right pulmonary artery, but I can't see the label for the superior vena cava. So again, this is going to be the right pulmonary artery. We'll click easy. Okay. And then this is an example of overlapping occlusions. Okay. So it's asking me about the SVC again. However, I can see the label for the right pulmonary artery here. So that's going to help me with my next question. That's going to make it easier to answer. So it's up to you guys if you want it to be easier or harder. I prefer the hard way, but that's just me. Okay, and then last but not least, right pulmonary artery. So anyway, guys, that's the gist of it. Um, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.